Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and I present to you what might possibly be the heaviest watch that we sell. Wow, this thing's amazing. Uh, maybe the Marathon Seesaw on full bracelet might be a little may, might match this one's weight. This is a full 300 grams. Uh, so what is that? That is about two thirds of a pound. Uh, amazing. This is the Nordic Fish Thucent 2T watch. I had originally saw this watch um, in Basel. I ordered a couple. I was like, I really just thought it was, you know, who's gonna buy this thing? Honestly, I mean, that was me. And sure enough, boom, boom, within a couple of weeks, <laughs> they, they sold out. I didn't get many, I think I got two of them. Um, so I ordered more and they actually take a, over a month to produce because they really hand make them uh, to order. So this comes from my friends at Nordic Fish over in Germany and they also make the NB Jaeger line of watches and then they make the, uh, the Thucent watch that you've seen uh, that comes in the blue, the green, and the black. I've done a video on those. And then this is their step up. This is the 2T, the Nordic Fish 2T. And the 2T stands for 2000. This is a 2000 meter water resistant dive watch. And not just any dive watch. This is a serious divers dive watch. So let's talk about this monster of a dive watch. So most importantly, inside is an Eta 2824 movement. Uh, that is the Swiss workhorse, uh, 25 joule automatic self-winding, uh, self hand-winding, hacking movement. It is 45 millimeters in diameter. Uh, so, you know, not tremendous, but, but large. It is 16 millimeters thick and a mere 54 millimeters on the tip to tip. Look at those massive lugs. Check those things out. It is a screw down case back and we'll do a zoom in uh, on the uh, case back in a minute. Anti, whoops, anti reflective uh, sapphire crystal. Uh, the crystal is super thick. The crystal is screwed down because it is a 2000 meter dive watch, but you will notice the absence of any helium release valve. And if you watched my watch and learned that I did not too long ago, uh, I did tell you that you know, not all watches have hel helium release valves because they all do not need it if they are designed um, appropriately. Uh, we'll get into that in a second as well. 24 millimeter bracelet, solid link, heavy duty bracelet, crazy. Uh, five, five rows of solid links, screwed links at that, solid end links, of course, would you expect anything else? And all held in with screw bars as well. So as I mentioned, the watch is a full 300 grams, so it is very beefy. It is a 120 click, beautiful unidirection, unidirectional ratcheting bezel, easy to grip. I mean, it's got notches and knurls everywhere for your fingers to catch on to. Look at the machining in the case. Look at the crown. It's uh, that, you know, kind of this diamond, cu diamond cut crown. Uh, very easy, even with my gloves. Simple, simple to unscrew. It's a nice unscrewing process. It feels great. Set the time. Very smooth. Go through the date. And whoops, there we go. Change the date that way. Push it in and screw it down. Let's uh, let's zoom in on the dial a bit. So there you can see 2T is written right there. That's the model name. Nordic Fish is the company. And of course, it is made in Germany. Uh, believe me, it took them a month. <laughs> it took them a month to get a couple of pieces out to me. Uh, made in Germany. Uh, quite you know, quite the achievement of, of a dive watch. And they say it's not really a recreational diver's watch. It's a true diver's dive watch. Uh, there's some writing on it and Nordic Fish, you know, 200 atmospheres, water resistance. There's the Nordic Fish logo. And then one more thing I wanted to show you was the crown has the Nordic Fish on it, the logo again with the name. Just really cool. Uh, fold over, deploy and clasp, flip lock. Here it goes micro adjustment, um, possibly when maybe if you dive with it, you were going to, you know, opt for, you know, maybe a, a rubber strap instead. Uh, there is no diver's extension on this clasp, maybe too weighty and too wieldy to use while diving. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to just discuss, oh, price, right? Uh, $1,350. It, it is not for the faint of wallet, nor for the faint of heart, nor for the faint of size. Uh, I wanted to just discuss briefly the, um, you know, the helium. So, you know, helium escape valves or helium relief valves, if you want to call them, exist because under uh, diving gases, when you're a compressed diving gas environment, 
uh, little helium atoms can they sneak by all the gaskets gets into the uh, case of the watch and then when you decompress uh, the helium wants to escape really fast um, and it can't can't get out that easily so generally it will pop the crystal uh, off of a watch in this case what they've done also instead they obviously you know they make a helium escape valve and the helium can leave that way helium escape valve is basically a one-way valve that only opens out it does not open in what this watch does is the crystal is on extremely tightly like i said it's screwed down under the bezel um, the case back is extremely tight the crown locking is excellent so that when you decompress the gases yes want to expand and want to pop off the crystal but they cannot so over time the gases again same way they came in they go out they just go out slowly and they become and they come into equilibrium with their surroundings and presto uh, no need for helium escape valve so um i'll put it on just for you know, just for fun and uh, we'll finish it so yeah way too big for me uh, extremely weighty, I and mean, I have some heavy watches. I have a couple of Zins on solid bracelets. Uh, this thing, though, is a whole nother level. Like I said, two-thirds of a pound. Um, Pre-cooked weight, uh, extremely heavy, um, extremely big, extremely bulky. But hey, uh, there are markets out there for it. I know that you know there are people that love watches like this. Uh, it's not me, um, but you know there are people that want watches like like this. Oh, you know what? We didn't do a loom shot. We'll do that, and then we'll finish it. So there's the loom, you know, the whole triangle glows great for registration. Your hour and your minute, you know, when you're diving, minutes are the more important item. So it is a pronounced hand, hours are secondary, just shown as a short line, there goes the seconds. Indices, again, you have registration, the double lines for 12. Everything is thought about in the design of the watch to make it a, a true diver's watch. The important stuff is there, you know, your minutes, your bezel. Um, and, and your 12 o'clock registration. So this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the Nordic Fish uh, 2T, 2000 meter dive watch. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below and I will be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.